Hey guys, my name is Alec with Michigan Machinist here. Um, we're gonna talk about fixturing. So it's one of the tougher things is how do you hold on to something when you're milling it, especially when you're gonna talk about a round part. Um, we're gonna talk about multiple part fixturing. So we got some different setups here. Um, obviously we got some jaws you're just gonna mount in a vise. Um, it's gonna hold six parts, five parts there I think. So this one, a couple different size diameters. Again, they're just jaws you'd mount in a vise. This one here, basically jaws, little aluminum four part there. Basically you'd hold it in regular jaws, mill out the four parts. And then these jaws, you'd flip it over put it in the jaw, and that's gonna deck each four of those parts. Um, basically deck all that excess stock off. So there's those. Here's another round part fixture. Um, basically, it's gonna hold five parts there. There's a little step down in there. Um, this is for a specific part. There's a slot through this whole thing, it's wire EDM. And then you got bolts here, drilled and tapped on the other side. Obviously you bolt that in there and it's gonna clamp on those parts. And you just hold this in your vise. Similar here, just a different part. Um, we use this to make these parts here, just a threaded shoulder bolt kind of deal. Um, you put them in there, obviously they stick down past in the device, no problem. You load up your parts, lock it down, and it's gonna mill the hex, dust the top. So that's how you do six parts, five parts, sorry. Can't count today. Um, this one does eight parts, similar setup here. We're making these for this fixture. Turn them on a lathe and then we're putting the flats and drilling a hole. So once you're parted off the lathe, you mount this fixture in your vise, pick it up, and then it's gonna make the flats, center, and drill, and then those parts would be done. Same setup, if you can zoom in, just trying to show these guys that slot. That little slot there is just wire EDM. So this diameter is the diameter of our part. And then we'd wire out that path, and you're gonna drill and tap a bunch of holes, to clamp this onto the parts. Um, nothing too crazy. That's how we do that. A couple other setups here. It's another part, a bunch of parts you'd stack up. Um, just to save you, I wouldn't necessarily save cycle time, but you know, if you're running one part, say your cycle time's a couple minutes, you know, you're kind of dedicated to stand there. Where if you're running six, eight, 10 parts, you got time in between to go run something, something else up. So it kind of helps in the long run fixture multiple parts. Um, so now we're gonna show you guys a current project we're on right now, um, making some pins. So I'll walk you over and show you. All right guys, so here's the pin we're gonna make. Um, we got a hundred of these actually to make. So it's got a little flat down there on a 45, drilled and tapped, drilled and tapped over here. Now this hole is clocked to that. Um, so yeah, we got a print here, kind of just showing the 45. This hole is drilled and tapped, clocked to that 45 angle. Um, Nothing super crazy, but we gotta make a hundred of them. So we come up with this fixture. Um, so yeah, so here's basically the fixture on our screen. Um, the model of our fixture, this back ledge back here is what the parts actually butt up to. And I'll show you that once we get in the machine. So there's the bottom half. Um, I'll load the parts on. So here's the finished part, the drilled and tapped hole, the angle. If I rotate this, it's gonna be drilled and tapped back there. Kind of just shows you if I zoom in here, it's up against that ledge there. So that's where our actual theoretical, not theoretical, sorry, our zero is for our machine. Um, and then top half of the fixture, once that's on there, that's how we're gonna clamp through this four holes here in the middle. Now these holes in the back are gonna be clearance holes for our spot and our drill and then tap. So we obviously we would not be able to drill into the part and have it clocked to this flat. So that's how we're doing that. So there's that, here's the top half of our fixture here. Um, the other, the lower half's in the machine. So basically it's gonna hold five of these parts upside down, just like that. Um, and then you can zoom in on that hole there. You can kind of see that drill and tap down inside. That's why we had to clearance that. And then we're gonna go over to the machine now and I'll show you how we're gonna hold on to them and run some parts. All right, guys, our tools are in the machine, programs are in the machine. I'm just kind of pointing out the fixture. So I'll show you how we load it. Um, and then we're gonna hit go. So safety first, and our safety glasses, holds five parts. Now we've already turned these on the lathe. It's already drilled and tapped on the back. Um, and they're 10 to 20 thou long in length. 
So we're gonna load up five parts. I already got one in there. So this step I was talking about on the um, software, we're gonna put our drill tapped end, put it on and we're just gonna slide it back to that stop. Cause that's where our Y zero is taught is that ledge. So we're gonna load them all up, slide them back against there. And then we're gonna take our top half with our bolts already in it. Drop that down. We're gonna hold the parts back. And we're gonna snug all these bolts. I like to start in the middle and everybody's probably got their own preferences. Snug them all. And again, there's probably a hundred different ways to hold on to more than one part. This is how we're doing it today. So those are all in there just for safety precautions. We're gonna make sure they're all tight. So we're gonna shut the door and hit go. So it's gonna, we're gonna spot those holes in the back first. We're gonna spot all those holes in all five parts and we're gonna drill through. Um, our bottom fixture, just like our top, is clearance on the bottom side. So when we drill through, the scrap's gonna fall out of the fixture, out of the part. So when we go to send the tap, that scrap's not plugging the tap up so we don't break a tap. Um, never a fun day to break a tap. So after that's tapped, then we're gonna come to the front. We're gonna volume mill, which is basically a rapid roughing operation, um, roughing down this front 45 angle in steps. And then we have an inserted cutter. We're gonna come through and take a finish pass just to clean that up. All right guys, so in conclusion here for our multiple part fixturing, um, if you have a wire EDM, that's great. Um, if you're on a knee mill in your garage, you got a boring head, you're gonna make some jaws, modify some jaws, or even take a chunk of stock that you're gonna modify to hold on to multiple parts, or you have a CNC you know, mill in your garage, whatever. There's multiple ways here, as far as modifying jaws, coming up with some stock, if you're making some type of fixture, whatever's gonna work best, and either give you time you know, to run multiple machines, or just to hold on to more than one part. I mean, who likes constantly taking one part in and out of a jaw all the time? I mean, sometimes it's nice to have eight parts set up, you know, where you're just making a quick adjustment on your knee mill. Or if it's in a program, you know, you're just hitting go and you stand back and let it do the work. I mean, it's all, it comes down to holding more than one part. It's up, totally up to you. Um, multiple ways, making fixture, modifying jaws. We got multiple ways here, so that's about it. You guys have a great day.